What if we can open a portal to another universe tomorrow and what do you think of other universes just like us mirroring or even reversing which might consist of an infinite amount of Earth and an uncountable version of ourselves, what if we don't have to look too far to find them? Maybe a mirror version of our reality is right here so let's discuss this in this video. Welcome to the nook and corner where future techies come to get inspired. Our universe began on a small but very hot singularity exploding in a big bang 13.7 billion years ago. But maybe it wasn't the only one to be born then in physics, space and time fuse into one four-dimensional continuum, space-time if this space-time is flat and stretches for beyond the limits of our observation, which means infinity on the ground, so there is a possibility of uncountable disconnected universes. But for all, we know there are a limited number of ways that particles in those other universes can be put together. At some point, the realities have to start repeating themselves. That means, in theory, our reality is only a small part of what's out there, and someone just like you might be living in a parallel universe similar to our own and that universe might be close as a million trillion trillion centimeter away. Although the walls between the universes might be incredibly small traveling between them wouldn't be easy. Humans have created several inventions. So why can't we do that? Is that still possible to open a portal? All you need is an 85 megawatt nuclear reactor capable of firing billions of neurons on command. That's our team of physicists, working in Tennessee's Oak Ridge Laboratory, are trying to open the gates of a mirror universe of course they have to find it first. It all comes from a theory that says, if you hit neutrons at a wall, none should pass through, some do manage to make it to the other side, it would mean that they have transformed into a mirror image of themselves as they went through the wall between the two worlds. How do we know even all that? There is one thing about neutrons. In particle beams, on average, they last for 14 minutes and 48 seconds before they decay into protons. But if you place neutrons in a lab bottle, they break down 10 seconds faster. It's not something we can't explain with physics sat. Neutrons are all the same and there shouldn't be any change, but 10 seconds different in their lifespan regardless of whether they are stored. Could it be possible that the neutron experiment didn't go as expected because physicists accidentally opened a portal to a mirror world? That would be the first evidence that a mirror universe exists right next to our own. A mirror world with mirror atoms, maybe even a mirror Earth. Imagine an entire mirror world almost totally cut off from ours, could you meet another version of yourself in that mirror world? Now it gets a little complicated. Even if the particle configuration can repeat itself, the odds of finding a portal to a parallel universe that's the same as ours are close to zero. Think about it, there are no vigent trillion particles in the universe. That's the number one followed by 90 zeros. Every single one of them would need to have had the same interactions for 13.7 billion years to create an identical universe to what we have now. The mirror universe would most likely have its mirror law of physics. But it's hard to know for sure because nobody's detected a single mirror particle yet. Maybe we shouldn't be searching for answers in the lab. Perhaps we should be looking in space itself. Our universe is full of dark matter. We can't observe it directly and I have no idea what it's made of and how it works, but we know that dark matter is strong enough to stop galaxies from flying apart. Yet we can't find it for the reason that dark matter is leaking from a mirror world in two hours. If we could detect that, it would confirm that a mirror universe exists because we know that there is five times more dark matter than there is visible matter in the universe, you have got to think that the mirror universe is much more massive than the one we live in. Even if we did manage to open up a get into another world, the portal would be incredibly small, too small for you to see anything without some very powerful lab equipment we'd still be dealing with neutrons and protons, remember? You could only enter that realm if you could shrink yourself to the size of an atom. However, shrinking yourself to that much smaller would need more energy than you think so first we need to open the gate and send some signals to our mirror universe or even our mirror earth to get some help.